hard seeing someone you love suffer like that, isn't it? You sound like you've been through it before. Mum, she was uh, committed to an actual institution in the city about six months ago. Do you get to see her much? Unfortunately not, no. Aubrey's not exactly around the corner. Aubrey, I thought you said that she was in an institution in the city. No, she's in Aubrey. You must be confused. I'd just like you to do a check for me on a probationary council way of working here. Henderson. Corey Henderson. You're right. Someone has done this to you. But you're only getting what you deserve. Oh, my God. It's you. It's you. Ailey. It's him. He just admitted it. It's been him. He was the one that was... Please, I'm right. Ailey, he's lying. No. It's him. I couldn't tell you why I've never felt satisfied Any good waves? One or two I just made some fresh juice if you want some um, Yeah, thanks You know what? At least one good thing's come out of all this business with Irene What's that? You and me We haven't had a fight in, what, a couple of days? <laughs> I know it hasn't been easy for you But I'm really glad that you and me and Corey can be friends or is that wishful thinking? I just want you to be careful. In other words, you're not cool with us after all. Listen, a few things have happened this week. Corey's not the person you think he is. If it's about what happened with that dog, Corey explained... That he shot it in cold blood. He had no choice. And for your information, he feels really bad about it. I was there. It's not how it happened. It's not how he reacted. Why don't you just admit what this is really about? You're still jealous. It's got nothing to we do with We broke that. up, Jack. When are you going to get over that? I'm just trying to look out for you here. Then why can't you be happy for me? Is that too much to ask? I'm glad you could make it, Holden. Sorry. Uh, just because it's Henderson's day off doesn't mean he can get slack. Hello. Uh, this came for you from headquarters. Great, thanks. What's inside? Just some background checks I had done. Up by HQ. Anything I should know about? Nothing important. Just being thorough so my boss looks good. Uh, cut the brown nose into a minimum, eh? Like you said. Don't worry, Dad. It's all good now. Sweet to have ants in it, so um, yeah, that's a nice surprise. Mm. Yeah, I had to get out, go for a walk. Oh, what's up, Jack? He's so. <sighs> what happened? Well, I thought he was cool about seeing each other, but obviously not. Ah, uh, let me guess, the dog incident. Yeah, I told him he had it all wrong, but he kept saying I shouldn't trust you or something. Did he give you any other reason? No, and that's what makes me so angry. He's obviously just jealous. Yeah, obviously. Mm. You do trust me, don't you? Of course I do. Jack just can't handle that. I found the perfect guy. I tried talking to her, but I don't think she heard a word I was saying. Poor Irene, all cooped up like that. Sounds like she's getting worse. It's just like the old Irene's gone. Instead, there's just this person sitting there that looks like her staring into space. Well, and she didn't speak? Oh, a little bit, but only to rant and rave about Corey. She's convinced that he's out to get her. But uh, what did Irene say about Corey? Same thing over and over. He's trying to poison her. She thinks he's responsible. Apparently you went in to see her last night and she just started screaming at him. That just sedate her. Oh, poor Constable Henderson. Such a nice young man. It's like she's totally lost grip on reality. You have another visitor, Irene. Could you give us a moment? Certainly. 
How are you feeling? That's probably a stupid question. I'm here because I'm trying to understand what happened to you. I'm a nutter. Haven't you heard? Sally told me what you said about Corey. Mm, yeah. He's trying to poison me. So go on. Tell me how crazy I am. I don't think that you're a loony, but I do need to know why do you think it's Corey? Because he told me, Jack. He told me. Last night in this room, he told me. Well, what exactly did he say? He said I was right about someone trying to poison me. And that I was getting what I deserved. He actually admitted to doing it? Yeah, as good as. He had to see the look on his face. And then when Hayley came back into the room, he, he acted like he was all innocent. It was like seeing two different people. He's out to get me, Jack, I swear it. How long ago did Corey move into your place? About three weeks ago. It was the same time I started hearing the voices. It's him. He's trying to make me look like I'm crazy and it's working. But why? Why would Corey want to do that to you? I don't know. I don't know. I've been racking my brains trying to think of a reason. And Jack, you believe me, don't you? It's the truth. I swear to God. Since I've been in here, all my headaches have stopped. And I'm not hearing the voices anymore. If it wasn't with this damn medication that they keep applying me with that I don't need, I'd be fine. And it doesn't matter now, now because it's, um, it's too late. Look, I've got to go, but I'll be back soon, OK? I promise. In the meantime, just take care. Jack, please. Please get, get me out of here. Please, Jack, get me out of here. Get out of here. Hi. I was wondering if you could help me. I was after a phone number for an institution in Albury. Albury? There's no facility in Albury. Are you sure? Well, I'll double check, but... No, sorry. OK, thanks. I spoke to Finn a little while ago. Oh, is she coming down? Mm. She's still going to try. It's not like she can do anything now, anyway. Hey, how is she? No change. Is Corey here at all? No, uh, you just missed him. I think he's gone to the station for something. You were at the hospital last night. What exactly happened? I went outside to speak to the doctor. By the time I came back in, Irene was at Corey's throat. You didn't happen to overhear anything they said? No, but I felt really sorry for Corey. Irene was really tearing strips off the poor guy. Hello? Uh, yeah, speaking. Oh, is she OK? Sure, I'll be right there. Any news? Um, Irene's asking to see me. Oh, well, I, I can drop you there. Uh, I'm sorry to rush you, Jack. No worries, I'll check me out the station. It's old Jack yet. Tell me what. You'll be getting a new partner. Edmondson, he has applied for a transfer. You're leaving? Yeah. Well, don't worry, it's not because you smell or anything. Why don't you say anything? Oh, I, I just decided. Yeah, but you've only been here a couple of months. You know me? Rolling Stone? Well, no, I don't, not really. Where are you going to go? Oh, Holbrook. It's a place not far from Albury. Oh, that's right. Your mum's in that institution down there. Yeah. Does she know that you, you're coming to visit? I told you I don't like talking about her. It's just all this stuff with Irene has made me realise I should be spending more time with mum. With this transfer, OK? Come. Okay.